Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Makakwadash. I want to give double honors to my elders and the apostles, the great millstone, that rule well, that taught me this truth, and many other brothers this truth. All right? I want to say um, a peace and safety to the hopeful elect, Lord, when the uh, lesson is edifying and comforting. Okay, and I want to bring a... a, a an, uh, another sit down through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah, man. All right, and it's about uh, the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, and this is what we're uh, enduring for. Okay, the scripture says, um, here we have no continuous city. All right, but we search one to come. All right, and that continuous city is what is is the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. All right, this is our reward, man. Okay, brothers got to realize that it, it it's a uh, it's a reward for our works, man. Okay. All right, we're doing this work, what, to get paid, man, okay? And that pay is going to be the kingdom of heaven, man, all right? That pay is going to be rest, okay? Uh, hey, like, like Micah 2 and 10, it says, um, arise and apart, for this is not your rest, man, okay? But what? Our rest is coming, man, okay? Our, hey, our rest is within us, man, all right? The, the kingdom of heaven is within us, all right? So, um, let me get this, um, scripture. All right, it's the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 1. And it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. All right? So, yeah, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Talking about what? The, the, the kingdom of Israel, man. All right? For the first heaven and the first, first earth were passed away. All right, meaning America was destroyed, man. All right, this kingdom is going to be destroyed. And what our kingdom is going to be set up. And it says, um, uh, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Yahweh out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. All right? Hey, so, hey, man, we're like wives, man. All right? Here, uh, hey, the, uh, you got to understand, hey, the big wedding is coming, man. All right, it's going to be a big wedding for Israel. All right. The kingdom of heaven is already established, man. All right. John said what? Hey, he seen the new Jerusalem. He seen the holy city prepared as a, a bride adorned for a husband, man. Okay. Hey, you got to think about it. All right. When you see a wedding, you might see one on TV, which is, uh, you know, uh, wicked over here uh, in America. All right. Period. But, um. When you see a, a a wedding, what it's all nice, it's all done up and shit. Okay, everything is already set up before the before the bride even comes in, and that's gonna be the kingdom of heaven for Israel, man. All right, for the elect, man. All right, uh, ultimately all of Israel. Okay, uh, I'm jumping down to three, and it says, and I and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men, and He will dwell with them. And they shall be his people. And Yahweh himself shall be with him, be with them and be their power. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Alright, all the tears, man, all the all the mourning. Okay. Hey, the scripture say Judah mourneth, man. Meaning Judah is crying. Alright, we're crying out. Okay? But it says what? Hey, the most high is gonna wipe away all the tears from our eyes, man. Okay? All, all that mourning, all that weeping and crying, that shit is going to be done away with, man. And it says, and there shall be no more death. All right? It's not going to be any more death, man. Death is going to be swallowed up. All right, we're going to live, man. Okay? Hey, uh... Hey, uh... Yeah, yeah, con, con. Death is going to be swallowed up, man. We're, gonna, we're not going to have to worry about death, man. And that's what we do this work for, man. Okay, part of what we do this work for is what to have eternal life. The scriptures say what? Uh, hey, hey, well, hey, what should I do that I may have eternal life, man? All right, keep the commandments, man. All right, you want the kingdom, man? You got to work for it, man. All right, but what? Death is going to be swallowed up. Neither sorrow. All right, we're not going to be in a sorrowful mind and a sorrowful heart, man. All right, we're going to rejoice forever, man. And it says, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. All right? It's not going to be no more pain for Israel, man. All right? And hey, we've been through enough pain, man. All right? It's not going to be no more weeping, no more crying. All right? 
And it says, for the former things are passed away. So all those things are going to be passed away, man. All right. All right, brothers, we got we got something. Hey, we don't we don't labor in vain, man. All this all this is going to come in due season, man. All right, and we're here, man. We're at the end, bro. We're at the end, man. All right, we're about to receive the kingdom of heaven, man, for eternal life, man. All right, fuck, hey, fuck our lives over here on this side, man. We don't have no damn life, man. You can't enjoy your children, all right. You, hey, you can't enjoy your family. You can't enjoy your wife, all right. All you, all you do is work and come home, all right. Fuck that, man. All right, we're the greatest people on, hey, on the planet Earth, man. All right, this isn't life over here. And this is, and he that set up on the throne, behold, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, right, for these words are true and faithful. All right, these words are true and faithful, man. The things we're going out preaching, they're all true and faithful, man. All right, the hell with those that don't believe, man. Hey, you hey, you jakes out there, man, if you don't want the kingdom of heaven, you just a, you fucking stupid, man. All right, you fucking stupid. All right? You don't want to work. You don't want to fight for this kingdom of heaven where we're talking about, man. Hey, man. And it says, um, uh, Revelation 21 and 6. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega in the beginning and the end, and I will give unto him this as an address of fountain of water of life freely. All right. He that overcome and shall inherit all things. All right. We're going to inherit all things. And I will be his power, and he shall be my son, man. Okay. Hey, let me, uh, let's get the book of Luke. All right. It's book of Luke. Luke chapter, Luke 12, verse 32. And it says, <clears throat> no, I'm going to start at 31. Luke 12 and 31. And it says, but rather seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. All right? All right, it is our father's good pleasure just to give us the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? All right, our, our big brother. Our Lord, Yahweh shot, man, sitting in the heavens, man. Hey, he can't wait to come back down here, man. He can't wait to come back down here and establish this new, uh, this kingdom of heaven on earth, man. All right? Drink wine with his brothers, man. Okay? All right, we're going to have a ball in the kingdom, man. We're going to have a ball. All right, well, yeah, we're working now. But what? Hey, well, we're working. We're laboring to what? To, to enjoy the kingdom of heaven for the rest of our lives, man, as long as we live. All right, that's eternity, man. All right, hey, nothing can be eternal, man. Eternal life, man. Okay? All right, let me get the book of Psalms. Psalms. Book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 4. And it says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of thine heart. So we're going to have the, the desires of thy heart. All right. Well, whatever we say in the kingdom is going to happen. Whatever we want in the kingdom, uh, best believe we're going to have it before we even ask for it, man. All right. Hey, brother's going to have their own island. You're going to have your own land. You're going to have your own planets. All right. You're going to have your own women. All right. Not no no foul women. All right. You're going to have virgins. All right. All right, we're going to be at, uh, at peace with the animals. All right, we're going to talk to the animals. All right. Okay, our children are going to be all righteous. Like the scripture says, they're going to have spiritual power. All right. So what? Um, Con, it says, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And it says, um, Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. All right, so uh, the Lord is going to bring to pass the desires of our heart, man. Okay, what, hey, whatever brothers want, whatever you desire, all right, that's just what you're going to have. Okay, because what? We, we're the gods of the earth. All right, you can read about that in Psalms. The book of Psalms says, hey, you are gods. All right, you are gods, man. All right. That's a, power, a powerful thing to say. Okay. Um, let me get the uh, book of Isaiah, chapter 60. <laughs> okay. Um, 
I'm trying to start up. Uh, come. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 10. And it says, And the sons and strangers shall build up thy walls. All right? The, the, these heathens, man. The so-called white man, the uh, so-called Chinese, the so-called Africans, all these heathens outside the nation of Israel is what? They're going to build up thy walls. And it says, And their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I have smote thee, but in my favor I have mercy on thee. All right? So the, uh, the most high has smote us, man. All right? The most high stripped us away from our heritage. All right? Which Israel deserved what we, we were going off. All right? And he smote us, man. We're in America getting smoked. We don't have anything. We're poor. But what the Lord said, but in my favor, I have mercy on thee. So the Lord is having mercy on us still, man. All right, we're still his people. All right, and that never changed. All right, and the scriptures say the most high, uh, he doesn't change. All right, we're still his people. All right, so what? He had mercy on us. All right, ultimately, he's going to give us the kingdom of heaven still forever. All right, jump to 11, Isaiah 16, 11. And it says, therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. All right, the kingdom of heaven, our gates is going to be open continually, man. All right, these heathens are uh, going to bring us uh, jewelry. They're going to bring us women. Uh, whatever they whatever they think that'll please us, that's what they're going to bring. All right, and the gates is going to be open continually. They uh, and they should be not shut day nor night. The men may bring unto thee forces of the Gentiles, and that the kings may be brought for nations, for for the for the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Or right, anyone that, that, that's going to think they're not going to serve our children, they're not going to serve us, they're not going to serve our women, all right, they, they, they think they're going to buck up, they're going to perish, man, all right, they're going to get put to death in the kingdom of heaven, okay, and it says, those nations shall be utterly wasted, the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, and beautify the place of my sanctuary, all right, the Lord said he's going to beautify the place of his sanctuary, all right, read Acts 7 and 48 where the Lord said hey earth uh, um, heaven is my throne earth is my footstool all right hey the earth is his sanctuary so what the Lord is going to beautify the earth again all right there's not going to be no toxins in the air there's not going to be no bullshit water man everything is going to be fresh all right hey hey the first heaven has passed away all right we're going to breathe in real air all right we're going to eat real clean foods. We're not going to have to worry about no GMO, no processed meats, and no bullshit, man. Okay? So what? The Lord is going to beautify the sanctuary, man. All right? Hey, the, the earth is going to uh, uh, grow fruit again, man, without anyone planting it. And it says, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. All right? So, hey, the earth is the most high's. Hey, if, hey, if heaven is the most high's throne, the earth is his footstool, what's the place of his feet? All right, it's talking about the earth. All right, and the, and the Lord said, "What? He's going to beautify it." <coughs> okay. Isaiah sixteen and fourteen it says, "The sons of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee." All right, these other other nations they over here and uh, they're, they're afflicting us. What? But they what? They're going to come bending. All right, they're going to they're going to come bending in the kingdom of heaven, man. And it says, "Uh, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down to the soles of thy feet." All right, so they're going to be bowing down. Okay, and it says, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the, Z the, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. All right. So yeah, you heathens, you're gonna, hey, like we say all the time, you're gonna bow now, and you're gonna bow later. All right. And it says, wherever thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man through thee, I will make thee in a, a, a eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. All right, so we're just going to have children on top of children on top of children for eternity. All right. And we're going to over we're going to overpopulate this world, man. We're going to overpopulate this world. All right, the most high hey, he has to have many more planets out there, man. The way we're going to over overpopulate this world, man. Okay? And there's not going to be no such thing as overpopulation, man. But that's what we're going to do. All right, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 16. And it says, Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and thou shalt suck the breast of the kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am the Savior and the Redeemer, that the Mighty One of Jacob. All right, the Mighty One of Israel, man. Not these other nations. He has another cut. All right, jumping to 17. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron, and I will make thy, thy officers peace 
and thy extra, uh, exactors righteous. It says, violence shall, no, shall be no more heard in thy land. All right, violence. All right, Jake killing Jake, fights, uh, club shootings. That shit not going to be heard of no more. It says, violence shall be no more heard in thy land. All right, it's going to be peace. All right, it's going to be peace in the Middle East. And it says, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call the walls salvation and the gates praise. Okay? All right, th th this is what we're seeking for, brothers. All right? All we have to do is, hey, hey, just keep up that good work, man. Okay? Keep up that good work. All right? And hey, let me jump to 21. And it says, um, thy people shall be all righteous. So everyone, all, all the Israel, we're going to be all righteous. It says, they shall inherit the land forever. And the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. So, yeah, the kingdom of heaven is all about the glorification of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, in the sun. Okay? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to reap those things. We're going to reap the kingdom of heaven. We're going to enjoy it for eternity. But it's, well, it's all go back to glorifying Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? There's all the honor and glory, all the praises, it's going to go to him. Him and the sun. Okay? That's what it's about. Uh, it says, um, 22. A little one should become a thousand, and a small, a small with a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten in this time. So our children, they're going to become a thousand. We're going to have our own nation of children, man. Okay, we're going to have thousands on, on thousands of children. Okay. So hey, this is this is what we seek—a continuous city, man. All right, the kingdom of heaven. All right. I'm gonna get uh, in the book of Hebrews, man. Okay, because uh, we just read. Um, Thy people shall be all righteous. Okay. All right. Let's see why. All right. All right. Ultimately, we are, we, we're the Lord's people, but we're going to be all righteous, man. All right. We're going to be made perfect. All right. You're not going to have to worry about going off in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right. Okay. Let's get the book of Hebrews. All right, it's the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, 10, verse 16. Uh, and it reads, um, This is the covenant that I will make with them. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their hearts, and their minds will I write them. Okay? So the Most High is going to put every law, statute, commandment in our hearts, man, in our mind. Okay? And we're going we're gonna to keep it perfectly. All right. That's why it's not going to be any more death, man. Because what? Um, uh, um, sin is transgression of the law. Okay. And through sin, you get death, man. Through transgression, you get death. But hey, if we're, we're going to be keeping these laws, that's your commandment. Hey, perfect. There's not going to be any more death. All right. So, hey, hey that was it. So, uh, what? Uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Okay, and uh, Lord willing, this lesson was comforting. All right, because uh, Israel, my brothers, uh, the elect, man, we, we all need comfort, man. All right, we're supposed to comfort one another with these scriptures. Okay, so with that, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Akak All right, double honors to my elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. All right, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Till next time, I'm going to say Shalom.